Well, good morning guys. <coughs> Drew from Wiley's Outdoor World. Just going to do the last video of my trip and that's how to pack up um, everything that I've been using last night and a couple of the, the little tricks that I used just to pack it up quick and easy. Um, you can probably tell, and I did go through this yesterday, that I've just attached bungees to the nearest tree. And I've got a bungee at the back there, obviously, and a diamond config. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to do is take the bungees off for the front and the back and just chuck them down on the, the magic carpet down there. And um, then I'm going to pull the prussic knots in on the left and the right and shove it all into that little blue dry bag that you see hanging off the head end of my hammock there. Then take the ridge line off and that's all packed up. Then I'm going to walk you through how to use the the mountain, well the, the shock cord mountains that are on the, the under blanket which you can actually see two of them sticking up next to where the lantern is there on the, the ridge line on the underside of the tarp. Um, if you didn't see yesterday's video, the ridge line that's on the underside is shock cord. Now it's not overly tight and the reason the shock cord's there is just to fix the the mounting points for the under quilt um, and as you can see I also hang the lantern on that and that just kind of helps to have the under blanket really cocoon around you when you're, you're lying at especially when the temperature starts dropping um, <clears throat> so yeah then after we've got that all tied up and I've showed you how to use the, the fixing points on the under blanket to actually cocoon everything together um, I'm going to show you how to... Oh hello Andy! Oh you're just in time! You're just in time! I was just saying there that I'm going to do a little video to show you how to pack up um, everything when it's all uh, sausage together and uh, a couple of tricks on how to get your tarp set up and sorted out um, quickly and then we're going to get it all into the hammock snake which is at the end there so like i said just a second ago before you came on the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the bungees off from that tree the front and the back then we're going to do the pull the prosit knots in then get the whole thing and that little blue five litre dry bag there and then take the ridge lines off and get that to the side and then we're going to um, go on to packing up the hammock with everything inside it and get it in that hammock snake then the fun part that everybody's been asking me for is to do a live video while I'm actually trying to pack this into the dry bag so that should be fun so I really hope you can see what I'm doing I'm going to um, you'll not hear a word I'm saying when I'm over there so I'll keep popping back alright guys right let's get to it
Right, okay guys, just before I start, once you've pulled the prosthetic knots in, what's going to happen when you try and um, put that all in the, the 5 litre dry bag is you're going to get a big bubbly air at the, the very top in that centre point there. So what you want to try and do is squeeze it all together on the way down, then fold it over so there's no air in the bottom and that'll stop that big, um, that big balloon of air at the top of the tap. In fact, I'm going to move you around a little bit, see if I can give you a better a better view of what I'm actually doing here. And then that way, if I do say something, you might actually still hear what I'm saying. There we go. Right guys, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but all I'm doing right now is I'm just getting all the, trying to get all the air out the bottom of that tap. And I don't know if you can see this, but I'll bring, oh. I've squeezed all the air out of it and I've folded it out at the bottom. Right, so I'm just going to bring that back up there. Just as I'm doing that. There you go guys, can you actually see that? Right, okay. Now because this is a live video, I'm willing to bet that I'm going to have a big air bubble regardless. Ah, not so bad, not so bad. I hope you've seen what I did there. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to release the ridge line on both sides. Do one side first. Wrap that up in your hand and just coil it up in your hand and then stick that in the dry bag then go ahead and do exactly the same on the other side. Just a quick little trick guys, bring this into focus. Um, forget the fact that I'm using arm steel rope just for the time being. You see I've put a knot just in the end there and when I've released the cam jam, I'm just waiting on that getting into focus, by doing that and release that cam jam, instantly the ridge line comes out but because I've got a knot in it there, it's certainly not going to go anywhere. So you can loosen it without worrying about losing your cam jam, alright? So now that I've got that, I'm just going to Wrap that up in my hand, straight into the dry bag.
Right, okay guys, that's um, your tap, obviously set up, uh, set up, taken down. You can squeeze that inside the dry bag now and just get rid of all that air and you can reduce the size pretty much to back to the same as it is and it's a original DV package. It might just be a little bit wider but it'll not be half as fat. See? It'll go down a lot smaller than that, but I'm just, it doesn't bother me. I've got plenty of space in my bag. So the next thing that we're going to do is the fixing points that's on both ends of the, the under blanket, which you can see are attached halfway up the, the line there with the arm steel rope. I'm going to take them off and the reason I'm going to take them off is it'll affect you when you set them back up again so what we're going to do is we're just going to unclip them and clip them at the very top of the hammock where oh, where the hammock um, where, the, where the steel rope is through the, the top of the hammock on both sides all right And the next thing we're going to do is if you see that bump that's sticking out that's the foot box and it's got the Dura 2 inside it along with the, the sleeping bag liner so what we're going to do is just stretch that right out in the hammock and try and roll it up and get it as flat as possible now the fixing straps that are on each side there's two on each side of the, the under blanket we're going to make a point of trying to grab the head and the foot of the sleeping bag especially the foot box so we can get that um, wrapped up and kind of get it as compressed as possible so it's a bit easier to stick in the dry bag. If you didn't do this bit right you're going to have a nightmare trying to get that in a 20 litre bag. There you go, just like that. I'm going to do the same with the top. Sweet. 
right so we've used we've still got two fixing points so we've got both of the ends grabbed but we've got a big lump in the middle so there's two fixing points left and what we're going to do is crisscross both of them and wrap it right round along the way then fix them to the very middle point where you can see the DD logo There you go, just like that. And the two carabiners, one's fixed to one of the centre fixing or mounting points and the other one's just wrapped around the opposite way. That stops the, the under blanket from unravelling itself and just spinning right round. So that's pretty much as tight as it's going to go. And you've got the Fuchs box grabbed there at the very end. That's going to stop um, it from being really difficult to, you know, pack up inside the dry bag. Right, so we're not going to tighten up the ends of the snake yet. Next thing we're going to do is take both sides down. Then obviously take the tree huggers off. Put the tree huggers back on as soon as it's off the tree. Then wrap all the arm steel rope inside the very end of that and just leave the tree huggers sticking out. And then that way when you manage to get it back on the deck when you're going to set it up again, all you have to do is just grab the tree huggers, get a, a light little tug and it'll all come right back out and exactly the same on the other end there. See, just like that. 
<laughs> you couldn't see that at all. Right, never mind. I'll see if I can catch it on this one. I'm just going to do exactly the same thing. Take this over, see if I can get you just a better shot. So just as I said before, Because I've got the, the super light DD hammock, I've got the, the soft shackle carabiners. So we just wrap up. On this one it's the arm steel rope. If um, you're using say a frontline hammock for example, you just have the standard hammock straps. So you would put the hammock straps in, connect it to your tree huggers, put the tree huggers just inside the hammock snake and close it as tight as it will go, just like that. Right, now for the fun part, let's try and get it in a 20 litre dry bag live. Now I've never managed to do this yet without swearing. Um, <clears throat> and since we're on the business page, I'm going to do my best not to. Clear a little bit of space. So now that you've got your hammock snake already to go in, it's important that you get as much in the bottom of your 20 litre dry bag as possible. So it makes sense not to put the, the foot box in until the very end. So let's try this. I'll see if I can try and do this in a way that you can still see what I'm doing without me being in front of the camera. Now I've always found that just if you've seen the last video, you've seen you've probably seen how it came out and it was twisted. So just before you start really packing it in, make sure the first we'll call it a layer, because that's essentially what it is, once you've coiled it in. I've got to admit, I don't find this fun at all. You have to just keep on turning the bag, then packing it in, and give it a good squeeze down, pulling the bag up like you're pulling up a skirt. Just get a twist, then just keep on going all the way around. This, this will just want to go everywhere.
Now at this stage, this is where I normally stop and hire a fag. <laughs> So the foot box is the most awkward part by a mile because obviously it's a lot more rigid than the rest of it. So although you can flex all the rest of it, you need to kind of grab the top and stop it from just flopping about. Come on, and you get work for me. Come on, just once. We're there. We're going live here. Come on. Right, straight down body weight on it. And squeeze all the air out. Just pull it up as you go. That was relatively painless, actually. I hope you guys can still see this. I'm trying my best to keep it into focus for you. You may find it's just a little bit in the tight side, just... You can hear the air actually coming out of it. Then get a good pull up. And... Yeah, I just swallowed a fly. And there you go, guys. Your complete sleep system packed away in a 20 litre dry bag. Um, all good to go. Then obviously using the, the two small bungees that I've got with me, which I used at the back, I'll just attach that to the bottom of my pack. Everything else just gets thrown straight in the pack and good to go. So, um, there you go. But I'm tired now. It's a little bit of a pain in the arse, I'm going to be honest, you know. Um, but when you don't compress it into a dry sack, the size of that snake, it's huge. It fills up half a 120 litre Bergen. But um, once you've done it a few times, it was actually quite awkward for me because I, I tend to just do it the other way around without obviously the camera, but I wanted to try and keep it in focus for you so you guys could see it. Um, but once you've done it a couple of times, it will definitely go in. Unless I've maybe gave you a 10 litre by mistake. Because <laughs> they do look identical. So there you go guys. Um, if you've got any questions, just give me a shout, alright? I should be back into the office probably in, within the next uh, half hour, maybe 40 minutes or something. And uh, if you've got any more questions, I'll quite happily talk you through it. Alright, well have a good one. Cheerio guys.